Hey, we're live in Prior Lake, Minnesota today. It's a beautiful sunny day out there. And Amy and Izzy and I are hard at work here at Michael Beach Coaching and Consulting where we deliver ambitious results. I want to talk to you today about culture. There's five things that I want to leave you with today. First of all, if you want to build a great culture in your company, you have to be the leader that your people can trust. The last thing your employees are going to want is for you to throw someone under the bus at the first sign of trouble. You need to believe in your people and you need to show it every day in everything you do. You need to set a very high example for your people by being the person on the team that's got incredible character and you be the person you've always wanted to be your whole life right now, every day. Second thing you have to do if you want to build a great culture in your company is to be consistent. You know, I had a client a year ago who was making some tremendous progress in his business and he was fixing the culture one day at a time and he had nine great days in a row and everything was going the right direction. And on the 10th day, he lost his patience and he blew up and he lost all the forward momentum he built up over the first nine days. If you're going to be consistent, you have to be consistent 10 days out of 10. Nine out of 10, not good enough. Remember, consistency builds. It's a little bit like putting coins in a piggy bank. Put them in day in and day out and pretty soon it's rattling in there pretty healthily. But if you drop the piggy bank, oops, it's all gone. If you're going to build great culture, the way you're going to do it is by making sure it's not just talk. You're going to have to make sure that when people walk through the front door of your business, they can feel your culture within the first 10 steps. Trust me, if you've ever been inside a company with a phenomenal culture, you can feel it the minute you come through the door. The energy is different. The attitude of the people is different. Don't ever, ever compensate on your values. Don't ever compromise. Make sure that you're leveraging your culture in every aspect of your business, from recruiting, to hiring, to onboarding your people, to performance managing and motivating them as they live their career with you. Fourth thing that you need to do if you want to build a great culture is to listen and to care about your people. Someone wise once said that people never really care how much you know until they know how much you care. I think they were wise. As we lead in our businesses, we need to make sure our employees and our associates know that we do care about them. They're not just a number. They're the person that takes care of my customers and they're very, very important to me. It's the way we need to be thinking. Fifth and finally, I think if you want to have great culture in your business, you need to create a welcoming environment. If your office is a mess and it looks like a whirlwind just went through, you're not on the right track. The way I look at it is if you live in a beautiful home, why wouldn't you want to work in a beautiful office? You know, you should have great paint color choices and wonderful artwork on the walls and you know, very attractive furniture and carpets and that sort of thing. If you like having a very comfortable home, it makes sense to have a very comfortable office where your employee associates and your clients and your customers are going to be just as comfortable as you are in your home. So if you do all five of these things, you'll be on the right track to building a great culture. Remember to motivate your team by building a great culture and you'll be well on your way to delivering ambitious results. Have a great day.